new people coming on. Uh, I've been reading in the newspaper a lot recently about people who are concerned with us wasting money and uh, improving our school system. And I've also heard uh, people directly say that there's no evidence uh, linking the performance of students to the environment in which they learn. And uh, that got me thinking, and uh, I, I said, surely that can't be true. And in fact, I went on the uh, Virginia Department of Education website and looked at uh, any, anything that they had that would tie uh, student achievement uh, to adequate school facilities. And in fact, I, I, found, a little, I found 21 separate articles and uh, research that have been done since the mid-1990s, all of them unequivocally tying uh, inadequate school facilities to inadequate student performance. We're all adults and we go to work every day and I know that none of us want to go into, if uh, it so happens that we're in an office, an office that is underlighted, uh, one that where the atmosphere changes all the time, where you don't know uh, the air quality. In fact, you know that the air quality is uh, poor. Somebody want to call 911? Excuse me. <coughs> but I worked in the Madison County school system, Madison County High School, for six years, and I know for a fact and through personal experience that that school system has had in the past. Okay, well, that's my wife. <laughs> you know, I have a personal stake on both sides. I do apologize. Okay. Okay. But uh, working there for six years and having friends who's uh, working there for six years, I know that the mold issues were there. I knew that uh, I had to run a, a dehumidifier in my classroom 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In my classroom, I was lucky enough to where I had my own personal air conditioning system because it was a computer lab. And even then, I had to run a dehumidifier just to keep my walls from turning black. Uh, I have a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, and probably some of yours whose child was unable to attend school at Madison County because of the poor air quality there. Dr. Beverly Young's son had to be homeschooled because if he walked into our school system within 20 minutes, uh, his, the, the atmosphere, the air quality would actually make him so sick that he'd wind up in the hospital. And it's not just an asthma. United, uh, the United States Department of Education has an archived document. You know, these aren't, you know, third-party uh, liberal uh, organizations. This is the Virginia Department of Education and the United States Department of Education. Uh, indicates that a number of studies have shown that many school systems uh, are plagued by decaying buildings that threaten the health, safety, and learning opportunities of students. Uh, good facilities appear to be an important precondition to student learning, provided that other conditions are present to support the strong academic program in the school. Uh, I won't continue to read, however, uh, just on this page alone, there's five different research studies, one in the District of Columbia, that specifically ties academic performance to the condition of the schools and the disparity of 11 percentile points in academic performance between students in quality schools and students in substandard schools. That's 11 percentile points. That's not insignificant. That is in one school, you might say. Uh, there was another school, and this is in a rural Virginia high school, just like Madison County. Uh, there was a research that examined the relationship between building condition and student achievement in small rural high schools. Student scores on achievement tests adjusted for socioeconomic status was found to be up to five 
percentile points lower in buildings with lower quality ratings. Achievement also appeared to be more directly re related to cosmetic factors than to structural ones. Poor achievement was associated with specific uh, building condition factors such as substandard science facilities, air conditioning, locker rooms, classrooms, furniture, graffiti. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, so if you need uh, any documentation, I can get it to you. Thank you.